Julie Heath. I'm the Director of the Economic Center um, here at UC. Uh, I've been in this position for about a year and a half. Before that I was t at University of Memphis for 26 years. Uh, I was a faculty member, um, department chair, and I started a Center for Economic Education there and uh, got plugged into that network and that's what brought me here. So I've been here since March of 12. might be my, my math background. Uh, when I think of the American dream, I think of an equation. Um, a, a very simple equation, really. Um, I think um, that people have expectations that if I do the right things, if I work hard, um, if I get enough education, then that will equal um, the standard of living for me um, and for my children. Um, so I, I think it's, it's just an equation inputs in and output. Um, unfortunately, um, I, I think the equation is broken. Um, because even before the recent recession, but, but particularly after the recession, I think um, people are putting in the same amount, if not more, effort <laughs> on that side of the equation, and they're not realizing the return um, for a lot of different reasons. I think. Um, the, the, the jobless recovery. Um, I think people your age, uh, they're coming out of college with degrees and they can't find um, meaningful employment. Uh, they can't find employment beyond uh, what they could have gotten with a high school degree. Um, I think people are working um, full-time jobs, two jobs, three jobs, um, and because of wage stagnation, um, they're just not getting ahead. Economic and financial literacy, getting this into the school system when kids are little, kindergartners, it is absolutely transformational. So it's important to me in terms of thinking about my own career, um, what difference I've made um, from, having, from having worked and participated um, because I've seen what the transformation is. Uh, when you give children the tools to make better decisions, um, it opens up worlds that they never even knew existed. Uh, I, th I think economic and financial education is crucial to the first part of that equation. Um, that half of the equation cannot happen um, without adequate economic and financial education. Because it's not, when people think about economic and financial literacy, they typically think about, well, you're teaching kids how to write a check and how to balance their checkbook. And that's a very narrow way to think about it. Economic and financial literacy is about how to make choices, how to make good decisions across all aspects of your life. So when we present to children, especially children to whom things happen, they, their lives are controlled by external forces that, that just happen to them. When you give children like that the tools to make their own choices and to take control of their own lives, whether that's making spending decisions, um, whether that's making life decisions, I, I will choose to come to school. I will choose not to join a gang. I will make these life decisions. Um, I will invest in myself. The, uh, the best thing that anyone can do in terms of their own future is invest in themselves. And when you take these children to whom that's just a foreign concept because life happens to them and turn back the control of their lives to them, if you invest in yourself, then this will happen. That changes their lives, and it changes our community. You know, I know what I'm supposed to say. <clears throat> uh, what I'm supposed to say is, um, you know, don't go to school, don't go to college, and get a degree for which there is no market. 
Um, and I want to say that, but I'm not going to say that. I think you should go to school and do what you love. Um, you should not take on huge amounts of debt in order to do that. <clears throat> There's all kinds of ways you can get a college degree. Um, you know, you can live at home, you can go to community college the first couple of years, you can work while you're going to school, it drags it out, but it's, you don't come out with a lot of debt. So I know I'm supposed to say that part, and I will. Um, but everybody shouldn't be an engineer. Um, there, there, needs to, there needs to be a place in our society uh, for people who major in music and art and dance. The, the trick is, if you're going to do those things, um, you, 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 do, you do need to think very carefully about what can you pair with that. What kind of marriage can you make <coughs> with something else that makes you different? So um, <clears throat> you might be a music major, but you might also pick up maybe a business minor um, so that you can fit into a category that's not just performance, for example. So I, I would say everybody shouldn't be flocking to whatever the hot um, new hire is. Um, you should do what you love but be very thoughtful about how can I make myself unique within that category and don't take on a lot of debt.